Let's go, mate. Welcome to Game Gear Adventures. Heading down to meet up with Steve Woods from Apotiki Helicopters. He's flying us into Ruatoria. We've dragged the young fella out of school for three days extracurricular activities. Hey Steve, good to see you. Good to see you man. This is uh, my young fella Rusty. Hey you Rusty. Hey. This is going to be Rusty's first time in a chopper and he's, yeah, he's pretty damn excited to be heading in where we're going. Yeah, as good as it gets. Okay, my little man, get all that gear in tonight, get a nice fire going and we'll make our plan for tomorrow. need to fly in with a good pilot. Good to be somewhere where there's heaps of game. And what's the plan tomorrow, boss? What are we up to tomorrow? Going to catch a pig. Yeah, we're pig hunting tomorrow, are we? Yeah. Right, hardly up pig hunting first thing in the morning. Sure you don't want some porridge, little fella. So, if we're going pig hunting, yeah. what are we having for dinner? Sweet and sour pork for tea. <laughs> But I'm not carrying a big donkey all the way back, so you better catch me a squealer today, little fella. <laughs> yeah, I'll get you a handbag. <laughs> I want a tasty handbag, thank you. <laughs> Just chucking a uh, chest plate on this old dog. We're uh, flying in to the middle of nowhere, and I'm uh, just a wee bit concerned about her getting knocked around. We've got no way to get her out if she gets hurt and she's the harder of the two dogs. So we're just going to make doubly sure that she's got plenty of protection on today. Saw some quite good pigs yesterday and um, this will be the dog that potentially cops it. She does most of the stopping and does all the work for us. The other little black and white dog just makes all the noise. Got a bit of wind, Russ. The wind. Which way's the wind coming from? turn and hunt into the wind and we have to leave this for this afternoon. Yep. We'll hunt, uh, maybe if we hunt around the base and come into those clearings this afternoon it'll be a wee bit better for us. Pigs, we saw in clearings last night, and we're just trying to push the dogs down into this open stuff. If we were pig hunting and not filming, we'd be uh, we'd be in the toxic stuff, playing in the jungle, catching pigs. But uh, we're just trying to see if we can't catch one out in the open, so we can get our cameras on it. It's going to be ideal for footage, so we're trying to be a bit clever to start with. And if all else fails, we'll end up in the jungle. But uh, right at the moment, this is where we're heading. First thing in the morning, and we've got a, a real nice breeze and uh, we've got some great country to hunt here. We saw pigs on here last night, and plenty of them too. And um, yeah, as you can see from these dogs, any minute now, if we let them go from here, they're gone. We 
just going to sit up here until the fog goes past and then when the fog goes past we can look around and see what's down there. Glad we stopped for lunch back there. Yeah. I was jaded. Must be getting old. Yeah. We're just going to sidle along the side of this whopping great mountain. Yep. Hopefully, catch there's, big. There's a 200 pound Gisborne mountain boar hiding <laughs> on the other side of it because it's a it's a hell of a long way to walk if we don't catch a pig. Yeah. What do you reckon? You reckon our chances are uh, pretty good? Yeah. You reckon our luck's going to change? Yeah. That's why we. Uh, that's why we got them on ropes, Russ. That's <laughs> so not, they catch pigs like that. That's yeah, not the pigs we want. That was two fat sows and their babies. I don't know what you He's just gone under the tea tree, Russ. Well, we just get down by this cabbage tree. You get the binos and just try and locate him. And then uh, I want to have a look and see how big he is. Will we lose our altitude? So we're just trying to work out where he's gone. He's just tucked into some tea tree now. He's in a big open basin, so there's really nowhere he can go. So I'm guessing he's lying down in that tea tree. And, and we're all radioed up, mic'd up, we're going to sneak some dogs in there and uh, it's going to be on in about 10 minutes. Chuck me that dog, Russ, and you take your dog. We're going to stalk right in on this fella and uh, just use the wind in our favour and we'll stalk right in on him. Let's go. Don't let her go unless I tell you, alright? Okay. Yeah, yeah, you go that way. Here, babe. Psst, psst. worked hard this morning to get a pig in the open, try and get some footage and the plan paid off. Probably just needed another 50, 60 pound on it and we, we would have had the one we were after. We've still, still got a few days up our sleeve and got some beautiful weather at the moment. Sit bro. And chuck your arms in. Got one. Oh, where's the other? I got it, I got it, I got it. You right? <laughs> yep, I got it. Mint has. Just going to kick off with trying to get the young fella a deer this morning. So, pig hunting's been relegated back to this afternoon. We're going to set him loose with a 223 and uh, see if he can't give us some good venison to take home. Had uh, not a lot of weight in the chopper, so we decided to uh, take a punt and just see if we can shoot and uh, eat what we shoot while we're in here. So, venison's on the menu. Hopefully, the wee fella can shoot straight. We'll just uh, get this radio set up, L little fella, because there's, there's every chance that uh, I'm going to be losing track here because I'm going to stay well back so I don't upset anything because I'm not renowned for my uh, super stealthy stalking ability. Well, I stalked up here and there was nothing up here on the little plateau bit, but there are some fresh points, so maybe last night. There's like three or four fellow. I can see two. Look, there's two fellow down there. two fellow down there, so we're going to walk down the hill, come and maybe come around. There's a little flat down there, which we can see where we're going to go and stuff. And yeah, hopefully 
get over there and shoot one of the fellow. She ran. I don't know, I had it on her. It was on her, but I think that I, if so, I told you I put it too far back and high. You did well, mate, that was a good stalk. Good yeah. Work. Quite where the young fella hit that deer, but um, on checking the footage, the shot was just a tiny bit high. So it's, it's clocked her just below the spine, above her front shoulders. Don't think she's gonna go too far, but with the little 2 do 3 um, you really Never need to be know. placing your bullets. So we'll just give her 20 minutes or so to settle down somewhere in the tea tree down there and we'll sneak in and find her. And hopefully that's uh, dinner, mate, sorted. Yep. And we've got the secret weapon with us anyway, the old sniffer. <laughs> we'll see if the sniffer can find it for us. You just trust her, she's got a better nose than both of us. Yeah, He's still got blood. Yeah, look, there's blood right here. A pretty handy little dog here. She uh, not only finds pigs, but uh, she's pretty good at tracking deer, so. I'm just going to let her go from here and we'll follow her on the GPS. As long as we're picking up blood, we'll know that uh, she's right on the money, but she doesn't normally fail us, silly dog. So we'll just set her loose and uh, she'll take us right there. We've got bone and blood. Yep. Okay, I'll stay on the last bit you find and you go and find the next bit. I see it. Oh, nice. right over here. Porky boy, congrats little man. <laughs> By the looks of things you ain't got no meat damage on that one. No. Some fairly good chewing right there I'd say. Yep, good for dinner. Sit her up. Right, day four of our adventure. We had a bit of a washout yesterday with the weather. Didn't get a lot of hunting done. We've packed all the gear up early today and we've just been playing with the drone. Pretty cool bit of tech and spotted a mob of pigs. We've got a couple of gingers, a black, um, just basically learning how to fly the thing and, and there's a mob of pigs just down below the hut. So we made a decision to push a wee bit. Um, we might be pushing our luck, we've got a couple of hours till the chopper's here, but we're going to saddle these dogs up, whip down the hill and see if we can't frighten one of these things. It could end up pear shaped. Um, poor old chopper pilot might end up uh, turning up to an empty skid if we're not careful, but we've got a couple of hours, we've got some good weather, we're just going to see how we go. Give it a nudge. Hey Russ, Russ, pull up here mate, pull up here, that's that ridge. That's where those pigs went. When we were droning them before, they just dived over the top. Yeah. We're just going a bit of stealth mode from here bud, and uh, just cruise along quietly and just try and get it get them behind where they went. We're just coming up on where those pigs were. We've just got the dogs on leads, so we're going to put them straight onto the scent. We've got a couple of hours till the choppers here, so uh, we kind of want them just to duck straight down here and hopefully we can knock this thing off quick before we get ourselves in trouble. sidle down here mate and stay close to those dogs if we can get down here we'll just stay right on top of them. Okay. Let's go. 
Yeah, I think we're on, mate. Let's go. Let's go. Just down his face now. Got a pig, I think. Sounds like a good bail up going on down here. He's all on. a gnarly wee pig. He certainly uh, had a bit more boogie than what the size tells. Felt that he was a bit bigger on the way down, the way he was going. <laughs> he was certainly given as good as he got with these dogs. Pretty good to see that little dog of yours on the find again, mate. That's uh, probably the third or fourth pig now. Yeah, she found it too. Been a good trip so far? Oh yeah, definitely. Deer, pigs, plenty of hard walking, yep. a bit of sweating. Yep, right. lots of water. Alright, let's get these dogs down the creek, sort ourselves out and get this fella back up to the hut. Yep. Let's go, mate. Of uh, this adventure. Pretty cool trip for a young fella. We've got a bit of meat to take home, the dogs perform well. See, it's been, been a hell of a ride. And go home for a sleep, I think. <laughs>